pretty often. He'll bust them out at locals, especially you see him a lot play Grand Winners Finals against Light. And when he feels like he's not getting pushed by someone, he's gonna go this character. He just plays he plays DDD for fun. And so this is, he's definitely not showing Soul Arch respect here early in game one. We see the Battlefield pick, which is a little less traditional than what we're used to seeing with PS2. So yeah, like you're, you're keeping into consideration stage pick and then you're cons considering uh, Shulk versus Peach maybe is not a favorable matchup. Maybe there's oh. something different about, you know, what DDD can do, especially with the trap game. You can utilize no. Gordos, you can start okay. setting up a bit more. I don't know. I, it's I, knowing Ling, this is not a matchup thing. This is just a, he, he's this just, is he's just a, just a yeah, this around. is just a, if he loses game one, I I think we'll see the peach swap, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, game one, you know, it's it's it's. I'm not gonna show you respect until you earn it. You know, um, Ling incredibly good at playing defensive, playing the patient, and one of the best at adapting in ultimate. He is so hard, hard to just like. If you don't out adapt Ling, you're not me. Right. Nah, for sure. I mean, we're seeing a slow-paced game from both these players, nonetheless. Soul Arts has the Monado Arts with, especially with um. The smash, but gonna let it go just because um, you know he was already getting knocked back, and now we're seeing I, there's something about DDD. Whether you main the character or whether it's just a character you have in your arsenal, this character is so and funny. That Play was with. a speaking of funny. That was hilarious interaction right there. Solar's calling out the inhale with a back air, like getting a little too antsy. And I, I think part Ooh. of what's funny is you know this character's voiced by Sakurai, right? Yeah. So this is like, one of Sakurai's babies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like literally the voice of this character in this game up tilt not gonna do it yet and this is where ddd can thrive is in these corner situations and gordo is easily reflectable but ddd actually really like thrives in this ledge trap game in this corner pressure we're seeing it here solars has not been able to get back to center stage maybe gonna have an opportunity there but the hammer is a big disjoint in its own right gonna call out solars his landing catch him in that lag and he's not even able to contest it yep and good utilization of uh, the monado shield art because um that that's a move that a lot a lot of Shulk mains like to abuse early and when they're deep into uh, you know those late percentages something, as well. Something something Shulk cheats something something. Yep, Shulk Shulk does cheat. You're one all right. But one of the things like that's really notable so far I think in this set is that Solarts has not gotten a lot off of Monado at all. We really haven't seen him bust out speed or jump. We haven't really seen him find anything with with Smash Art. Mm -hmm. Or he got one hit with Buster. You know, he got out of two hits. We see the smash art now, so Ling maybe going to be a little scary there, but instead just opting to contest Soul Arts, stall it out at ledge, but Soul yeah, Arts, that back air, air, it disappeared. Air, the smash art in the startup me meant it, that back air just barely didn't kill, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, and 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 it was an opportunity for Ling, but Soul Arts managed to capitalize and still keep things going for a second, but not able to get back down. These platforms are really benefiting Ling so far. No, yeah, for sure. I mean, despite the lead that Soul Arts does have, it seems like Ling, Ling's, Ling is just fighting. Like, he's right there every single time. Has him off stage finally. The Gordo may play a factor, but matter of fact, that a yeah. beautiful Let's Trap right there. Yeah, and that shield art was perfectly oh timed. Without it, it would have taken, that fair would have taken the stock, but instead, Ed Solars is gonna get another opportunity with the jump art. He's gonna be able to find his way back to center stage, maintain a little bit of stage control, but you cannot, that back air not safe, even on landing. And there's not an auto cancel window there, and now he's got the speed art that's gonna reduce the knockback on your hits. So not able to find the kill off the up beat. And you know, you expect to see both these characters living the high percents, but considering how little Solar has found off of his arts, it's a little surprising to see him living this long. This game really does comes down to, um, you know, like you said, it's a matter of do you deserve the respect. This game one is crucial for Soul Arts, and now it's slipping past his grasp right now as he has one stock and a full, yeah. a fully uh, max rage DDD to work yeah. around. And now also you see him getting a little tilted, right? He's starting to push unsafe options on shield, especially with that smash hurt, or just trying to find a way to close it out. And this is where Ling is so good. Uh, Ling's defense is incredibly efficient, which combined with his adaptation means that if you start to get tilted against him, it, it's just already over. And you're seeing Solar Arts like trying over and over, just running in, trying to find these options, looking for some very uns, picking some very unsafe choices, trying to close the stop, having an opportunity here. But Gordo sticking a ledge is going to make it harder to contest, and that's going to be a smash hard for to take the stop. Yeah, there's not really much you could do there. I mean, the coverage from. Uh, from Solar was just immaculate, was able to seal that stock. Finally brings us to a one stock game, but this is where it matters the most. Oh, you want to make your damage count. And Ling went for that inhale to suck and send going off right there. They're trying 
trying to just find a little bit of cheese. The Soul Art has an opportunity to make this back right. So he, all it takes is one Speed Art combo, and he found an opening, but not able to capitalize. Ling with some great TI down into stage to find his way out of that. And now the up tilt gonna find it, and that's gonna be game number one. Going to Connecticut's own Ling out here invading in Westchester, taking down one of Long Island's finest in game number one. And I'm gonna be honest, I think he's staying DDD going into game two. I mean, I don't think I don't think Soul Arts quite earned that respect for Ling to go Peach. And uh, hold on, it Ling did you? Ling has a thing where before all of his stream sets he goes to the bathroom. But did he just go in the middle of game? In the middle of no, no he's okay. he walks back. to the middle of the room. To hey, check what's out up? The stage list. How's it going? <laughs> How did he win that? That's like minus one. Oh, I mean, it's it's Ling, it's Ling DDD, dude. His Ling's DDD's cracked, and he goes as character if you don't, if he you haven't earned his respect. Ling, I have no respect. Damn. His DDD's taking sets off light, so like, hold on. I know you know, but like, but like they don't, they don't all know, and and we're gonna tell them. Listen, I I got respect. This is this is my region, man. This is my dude. Oh, it absolutely is, but you gotta earn that respect. And Ling saying, I don't care that Soul Arts went on a run, on, on a regional. I don't care that he, he's a top player in Long Island. It does not matter because I am gonna play my little low tier and take you all the way to, a, trying to take him all the way to a 2-0 right now. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, good start. I'm surprised that we're staying Battlefield despite, you know, any other stage probably could have worked out for a character like Shulk, on, but on paper it makes sense. You right, it makes it way harder for Gordo to control space. You get extra landing mix-ups against DDD. It makes his his leg trapping a lot worse. So I understand why why Solars went back here, but at the same time, right, Ling made such good use of those platforms, platforms playing under them, really using them in turn as well to catch Solars. Or it's right, lane him lane his approaches and really just find the opportunities that a character like DDD needs in order to in order to take stocks in a matchup that's this hard. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, slow start right now for both these players. You know, just, just fading back. Like we've seen before, like these Monado arts have almost been non-existent for, uh, for soul arts, you know. It hasn't really been able to execute them to what they're known to be doing and it's just the wall that's being built by Ling and then just the stage presence yep. every single time has had the stage control. Yeah, I think part of it, like you see, uh, Solar's not even opting to contest a lot of these borders, right? You could throw out a Nair or play a little bit further back, throw out a Nair, contest Gordo, hit it back, and then find a way in maybe with a speed art or something. But it looks like he's maybe he's both a little bit annoyed. I'd like you can see the tilt getting him a little bit, finally finding the Nair there to hit that Gordo back, but not doing it. It seems like maybe he's not the most familiar with the matchup. Maybe it's not match of familiarity because there's definitely a few amounts of uh, DDDs that have existed if not still do exist but um, I think it's, it just comes down to different play styles and yeah. there's different ways to play DDD to a point where you if you know how to get in your opponent's head that's already more than half the battle won but yeah. right now not say, allowing that to get to him. I was gonna say, this is definitely a mental game pick but now we're seeing why Soul Arts went back to that stage right that was a 74% juggle off of Soul a character who's not really known to find those huge damage juggles, but Ling with the inhale mix-up gonna get out of the smash art situation that could have put him very far down. And what was a very, you know, even though it was close, was a very convincing game one for Ling is now coming right back act, right? Soul Arts having a lead, but Ling starting to bring this back. And the thing about Super Heavy, right, is they deal so much damage. Oh yeah, as they deal so much damage, they can also take your stocks with ease, especially with the Smash Monado arts. Both these players are trying to swing for the fences, but finally going in their favor. It's going to be Soul Arts with the stock lead, but and, can't get too comfortable. Yeah, and I mean, that was the first time he found that up tilt. He, he went for that up tilt all, all set at Ling, not ready for it. And he's going to find this first Smash Art stock so far. And the big difference in this game is Soul Arts is starting to actually find more off of his arts, right? He's starting to channel his inner soul. Well, make use of these Monados and make, and and just actually find significantly more openings. Link hasn't been able to contest hasn't been able to contest him in the same way he was game one. Wow, the the quick swap yeah, in the Monado arts. Like you saw him 
mistakenly yeah. choose jump and then immediately still had the time to yeah. choose the shield Monado. Yeah, Monado it really I goes say, Monado that. is frame 11, um, it, so it's not actually that fast, but you can cancel Monado in its startup and it actually maintains those frames mm -hmm. aims, so it, it, it basically holds those startup frames like a smash attack char charge for the future, so you can get a switch out as soon as frame 1, right, that's called Gile Storage. Or Solart's making very good use of it there. The jump bar into the back air, not gonna do it, but Link has to be incredibly scared. He needs to find a way back. It's at 43, right? This is still DDD. He can still absolutely make this happen. But this is still this is Solart's game to lose right now. No, yeah, for sure. You gotta play it safely. Oh, oh my no. gosh, you landed on the platform, but you escape with your life. Yeah. Still, even then, the pressure being applied from Ling is looking like it's his game to run away with. Yeah, and that up air, right? That was without shield art, that might have been the game, but Soul Art's managing to find the swap. Now the Ling brought this all the way back. The up air not gonna do it. This is a big Oh no. Oh my board. god! And the back air across the stage, Ling just coming down. I'm not even opting for the fast fall mix up, right? He hadn't really fast fall at all. Maybe that's what Solarts was looking for, but opting to just swing his his big boy hammer, swing that little jet around. No jets needed, just opting for the old fashioned Kirby style and you know, taking a clean 2-0. And oh, uh man. and uh Solarts, I mean, you gotta be a little tilted, right? After getting 2 0'd by by Ling's DDD. Like, yeah, he plays this character, but still, like, you sit down against Ling, you're like, oh I'm playing Peach. And then you see this big penguin in pajamas coming out at you. Now, Link saw the light and just went full.